Welcome back friends. It's now time for us to listen to some words of wisdom from people who are not only driven by a desire to excel in their own chosen fields, but they also dabble in the field of drama and theater even if it happens to be just their hobby. So listen very carefully as they share their invaluable experiences. चलो उठा इसको पकड़ इसको पकड़ इसको भी उठा so this this is the process through which actors learn you know this this, this happens this happens in 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 a workshop in a in a created environment where actors are given different roles and they get do keep doing these roles uh, over a over a number of days the presence of mind which is very important for actors performing on stage to handle the situation these things cannot be taught but these things you learn you get to learn through a process of workshop uh, because in the process of workshop you also understand each other as human beings and also by the way when you start doing theater you know you become more humane in your approach in understanding people cinema can effort to say cut but theater can never say cut so once you're there you're there and once you've delivered your lines you've delivered your lines if you've committed a mistake you've committed a mistake the real challenge again is to show the people that you have not committed a mistake and again the most important thing is to be in the character so that people don't catch you that you've committed a mistake hi my name is ravi raj and uh, i work as an rj and right now i'm at sutadar learning my acting skills hi my name is shantini ghosh um i just graduated out of uh, hyderabad public school my name is deepthi and uh, i am an ma in psychology i had uh, initially joined uh, a gaming company in hyderabad where i used to work uh, in customer services for 4 years hi i am sanjogita and i work with infosys as a lead consultant hi my name is varun abishai i am a hotel management graduate i being a creative person i chose theater to bring out the create creative side of me the individualistic side of side of me because i really needed it to be able to do a good job at work as well as do something extra more than the, than the work that i'm doing it was basically an interest i took it up i started it as a hobby in school then uh, in college uh, the hobby developed into a passion and uh, towards the time that i had taken up my job i found that i wasn't able to spare much time for this and that's when i realized that this is what i want to do in my office i used to do skits writing skits directing skits and even act in them so that actually uh, made me realize that this is what we need to do apart from our job so i thought of thought of taking it very seriously as my hobby This was a hobby and now I'm taking it very little seriously. It was magical just watching people becoming other people on stage with the least amount of difficulty and it just it felt so good and I felt you know I could do this. And so that's how I started out since I was a baby. The moment I spoke to Vinay who is uh, the founder of uh, Sutradhar I just knew by the voice the way he talked to me that this is it. This is the place which is going to take me to to my dream world to the place where i want to be acting was always my career option but uh, there is uh, no one proper person to uh, guide where to join and uh, who's the right person to consult but uh, after consulting my some of my friends um, searching in internet then i came to know about the sutradhar and, uh, and their work past work and about their workshops how they conduct and what all the things happen in sutradhar I and mean, in workshop with sutradhar there's no barrier of language they're not just plays in english they're also plays in hindi and uh, hyderabadi other languages uh, i found sutradhar a much more open and free place where you could come in with a lot of ideas you know spend as much time as you want and basically i found people here to be much more passionate than i have seen elsewhere in sutradhar especially during the workshops we uh, we start off the day with some really difficult physical exercises which kind of helps us to keep ourselves fit and keep ourselves ready you know for the mental exercises which are going to come up and they help us to uh, they help us in theory as to you know hold positions and everything on stage and uh, the other kind of we do uh, we play theater games which are really fun but then they teach us a lot and uh, we are given passages and we have to act it out in our own way the best thing is we are not told what to do we have to think about it like it's actually us doing our own things we have to think like a lot and it's amazing the best part 
perhaps about sutras are as you not you don't have one field that you're restricted to. If you if you're acting, you don't just act. There's going to be other things you'll you'll be involved with. The entire you know every department of a play, everything that has to do with drama, you are connected to it. If you're interested in direction, you will assist with that. You will help with that. Acting, of course, you can act. Backstage, everything. Right now, I'm just learning and uh, polishing my skills. Once I'm done with that, if I get good opportunity, definitely I would like to make it my serious profession one day. I, I would love to stick around with theatre. I would love to do more, more plays, and I'd love to get involved in more aspects of theatre, like script writing, lights, sounds, everything possible. I'd love to do that. Amazing and inspiring are the two words that come to mind while I attempt to describe Vinay Verma's journey. Bharat, Bharat.